Hey everybody, welcome back. So we are, uh, today we're going to do circuits. That's what we're going to do, the circuits here. Uh, I put these little balloon lights in. They're called balloon lights. They're, <laughs> they're kind of cute, turned off during the daytime. They'll use a bit of power. They use like 30 kilowatts of power. They also don't require glass, so I guess it's kind of a, a cheat there for now, for not having glass. But uh, anyways, yeah, they have a really huge uh, light radius. They might have also changed the regular light radius, but I just put some around for fun. And uh, outside of that, I think I killed a couple biters. Um, I think there were some in this area maybe that I took care of, but nothing too uh, fancy or anything like that. Um, I did put another radar over here. I think I put one down here for fun so we can keep an eye on things down there. I don't know if this was recent. No, I think that's the old one. So I don't think I've touched anything there. And I think potentially this one was newer as well, I think. Um, I think so. To be fair, it's hard to tell, but I think that was a newer one as well. So um, maybe eventually I'll get one further out over here. But just uh, a bit to expand it and keep an eye on things in the future. Yeah, this is slowly scanning over on this one. So, uh, But uh, yeah, we want to get into green circuits, and then we're going to want to get into a few things. Oh, we're going to have to process some glass for some stuff. And basically, we have a lot to do. So uh, we should get at that. I think I have basically enough things here to get started so we're gonna end up having to do this i guess up here we'll say and i should set this up ahead of time it's been a while since i've done this so um we're gonna want to uh, we'll keep it over here because we are trying to keep away from the main thing anyways a bit so we're gonna have this guy here and then you're gonna have this one here i think that'll work and then these have to be in groups of like i think that's how it was in twos or something or threes like this Oh, but that's right. That's how I used to do it. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. Yeah, this should work then. Okay, so I'm going to do this here, and then this here, and then this will one, two, three. There you go. So one, two, three, and then you have this guy here. There we go. That should work. And then that's probably enough for now anyways. Uh, we can always scale this later, honestly, but I don't think we need to go too crazy. And then if those are matched up up there, which they should be, roughly, um, that should work. So over here would be your copper wires. Where is that? There you go. So we'll just go, and then we'll go up here. And then this will be the actual circuits itself. So there's a stone version and a copper, uh, the stone version, and sorry, wood version. So you want to make sure you get the stone version. I guess if you have a wood mod or some tree growing thing, etc., etc., that might work. I think later on, potentially, I don't know if there's an easy source of stone and stuff, but I think there might be even like some sort of high tech, you know, um, uh, stuff you can make later on that you can actually use uh, wood like grow trees in space and stuff like that so there might be potential for that uh, there as well so um, but anyways for now stones are best uh, option and so yeah these basically are like you know it's a three to one I believe so that's why or is it three to one yeah three to one or something like that or it was three to one but no there's a different reason no, maybe it was like two. I don't know. Either way, I'm pretty sure this is the right number. It used to be. I mean, it might be different now, especially with this, but I'm pretty sure this is how it used to be. So I'm just going from what I remember back in the day. Remember, I haven't really played this game in like three years, so. I'm doing the best I can. There you go. And, uh, yeah, that should be pretty good there I think and then oh you have your outside obviously coming in so this will be your copper coming in here oh you know what I derped on here because I need the iron plates so I'm gonna have to do underground conveyors for that one or you can do the long reach but I want I think at the speed you want to probably do this you probably would be better off with the other ones we'll see if I can do this properly it's been a while but I think we can manage it It'd be easier if we had the other ones, but we don't. Well, these are spaced, actually, so this should work out really well. So let's take this out, and I'll show you what I mean, what we're going to do here. So you're going to have these guys here. So this is your underground conveyors, and they'll come in here. And then basically it'll come out and in, and then out and in, and then out and in. Oh, this doesn't work properly. Oh, you know why this doesn't work? We need these guys. What do you require? Just a lot of gears? Actually, this will work then. Okay, we'll get this. Um, the reason this won't work is because um, 
you, how are you going to get your regular belt in there, right? Obviously, you can't. So, Oh, that's another thing I did off camera for fun. I, I built another uh, 20 of these guys. I just thought, why not? I think it was actually 19. We had one extra. So I just thought, eh, let's just be silly. So I filled them all up with uh, fuel to make them all 100. And uh, I just wanted to see how long that would last power-wise for a while. So it was just something silly. I thought, hey, this would be kind of fun. So there you go. This one's a long one too, 200 of them and 30. And we have a pretty good buffer over here. I actually kind of fixed up the buffer so that the way there's two outputs uh, and that way it'll keep them uh, kind of going a bit better. So funny enough though, I guess we produce so many greens or, oh no, it's probably filling up the chest now. Oh, 6.4 and 6.4. Oh yeah, so the greens and reds were completely full. That's cool. I wasn't sure if the buffer or like these would eat it up fast. They're pretty slow, but then again, there are recipes that might say, "Oh, we just want you know 15 seconds instead of 30 seconds each," right? So um, there's some that'll speed that up. Plus, as time goes on, you will actually work on lab uh, speed here. Like for example, this one here, and uh, that'll speed it up as well. So, anyways, that should fix that part. Anyways, uh, so uh, we'll leave that alone for now. So you'll have your stuff coming in here, and yeah. How many of these do you require? Just one and then the copper. Okay. So let's go ahead and work on the stone part, as, I guess. And well, let's get this up and running anyways, or partially running, we should say. So we'll go over here, and then uh, we'll just go like this. Get these plugged in here. There you go. This is going to be... There you go. It worked anyways. go and then we'll get you in here now that we're doing circuits eventually we might have to look I, I know we don't use a lot of circuits yet but soon we're gonna have to definitely upgrade uh, <laughs> the other stuff there because we're gonna we're gonna go through them like candy you tend to do that so um, I guess we'll do you there and you here and then oh we didn't uh, well I don't even know how I was doing this actually let's just remove these actually they probably could have been fine where they are so this could be the one item obviously and then that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then you'll have your other one. So it could be before or after. I might as well, since I can do it that way, let's do them right here at the ends. And it'll be the other set of underground belts. So there you go. You need to make sure you have your logistics if you're doing it this way. There's probably other ways. I mean, this could be a horrifying way I'm doing it. Who knows? But uh, it is a way I'm pretty sure that works. So I'm pretty confident that I think it would work. So I'm going to go with that. Whether I'm right or wrong, we'll find out in the future. There we go. Perfect. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get you guys. So I'm going to have to come up with... Uh, I mean, I can come up the main line. The problem is you're going to have to come out with those things. I'll probably do them below somewhere. Okay, so that's done. What else are we going to do? We can do military uh, or start, you know, not doing it, but you got the military one there. I'll leave it for now. Let's do automation to get the faster one. Or engines. Oh, let's do engines because we're going to need those over time anyways. Well, that's faster now. Okay, so we'll have you come in here and then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much. And then you're going to have your output. So we'll do that now. So we're just going to do a bunch of these guys. <laughs> Requires a phenomenal amount of gears as you can see This is where gear buffering might be important as time goes on uh, Just so you can have them So something like this these are pretty darn slow too So this would be a good opportunity to be like okay, you know what maybe we'll get some of these gears buffered here over time So do something silly like this, right? It's not a thing right No. We'll just do it on all of them. I wasn't planning to but I'll just do it for fun. There you go. It's more of a just a buffer, right? And then there you go. And then I'll just do an iron version. I, these ones you tend to use quite a bit anyway. So oh yeah, we got a shift P, was it? There you go. Flip it to the front. There you go. Get some power. And there you go. I'll make life a little easier with gears. If you want, you could move this around. There you go. And then have this guy here. There you go. Just a little bit of a 
a help. Okay, so we got that done. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll just do the automation one, I guess, for the future here. Eventually motors, I guess, we'll need to. Okay, so you guys are pretty good. Let's go down and get our stone stuff going here then. And we'll fix that up after the top part there. Oh, crap. Did you use all of my... Yeah, you did. Mmm, that sucks. Uh, 510. I'll do a shift P on that. There you go. I need more of you guys. Let's grab you guys here. I need more iron too. go okay so let's make those stone uh, stuff so is that from bright from stone no oh, stone bricks okay so that actually works out a bit because we do have all this set up right now already so that kind of saves us there honestly we just got to get the stone brick out of here the only problem is it's probably not a good suitable amount coming out of here but uh, we could always expand this to be fair um, let's go ahead and, uh, oh crap, we don't have any more chests on us, right? No. So let's go and get some of these guys. Oh, I didn't mean to do that many. Shift P again. There we go. I guess we could do its own layer, to be honest. There we go. So, walls in here. I'm not planning to do any big wall setups yet anyways. Like, oh, I gotta take, you know, and fill up this whole area, blah, blah, blah. So I'm kind of happy with that. Let's do lab research speed. Might as well for fun. And then let's take you out of here. We're gonna take out all this now. We don't need it anymore. I guess we could have picked up the other one there, but I like walking back and forth. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll go ahead take you out of here. Oh, is that a steel? Oh, that's iron. I guess we had that much on us, huh? Must have been pretty close to the little bit there. I don't know. Okay. And then we'll take this out of here, and then this will let us give, uh, expand this, so. I clicked that. didn't work at first, huh? Okay, so let's open this up here. I just thought, yeah, might as well expand this up more. I hate that. I love that new feature, but sometimes it's like, I hate you too. Um, so we're doing that whole two for thing these days, right? So that's fine. You'd always do that if you're just a little lazy. There you go, so that's eight. Um, yeah, eight. I think I've been doing twelves, honestly, so... Maybe I'll keep it that way then. I think I've been doing them in 12s. I think so. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, yeah, that's good. Put you here. I don't know if we need this speed, honestly, but it's also for the future and it'll help a bit. So, um, we'll, we'll end up using that type of brick from. Oh, I don't know how I did that, but I actually set these all off by one tile. You are really bad with this. For some reason, the game sometimes feels like it's slightly angled, weirdly. I don't know. It's I'm probably my mind. I'm going crazy, but I swear. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, high performance. Let's do that. Mutters. Engines. So everything will research a little faster now, too, because you got the research speed, which is... How much are you? Actually, I think it's pretty decent at start. Yeah, 20% is pretty big. Okay, and then we get your fuel over here. Oops, I didn't do it on it properly. There you go. And one day we'll replace all this with like electric engines, and then you can do productivity productivity modules, which you know you get more out of it. Or what you can even do is if you just want to be cheaper on power, you can do that. You know, whatever you like. Got that one, and then we got this one. There you go. There we go. And, uh, oh, look at it. We'll have to research again, huh? Is it still another 30? Ooh. They really add those up, don't they? 
I guess somewhere we're gonna have to put you guys in here. There you go. Which side? Right at the beginning. There you go. Apparently I'm bad at flipping today. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we got you done. Um, so how are we looking here? This is pretty good. So let's go ahead and power you up. So I think we have to double it, right? That's the setup we're doing here for now. That or use a better version of uh, the poles, but I think that might require steel at that point. So there you go. We don't get much stone in here, so obviously I'm going to have to work on getting stone in here as well. But that's fine. When it's somewhere over here, we're going to have to bring this up here. Let's do it like this for now. Do some zigzagging around here. And then, uh, yeah. I'm going to bring it up in the other thing, but screw you. You'll have to just go underground. There you go. Really? Oh, well. You win some, you lose some, right? How those, uh, oh yeah. So yeah, those are pretty good, actually, if you go on this map. So how dark is that? Oh, it's pretty dark. Look how bright those are. Yeah, they're pretty awesome looking. They definitely bright up the day. So what I was thinking of, you don't have to, but I was actually thinking I'll have a different setup. And make those and then uh yeah i think i'll do that and then bring it over there because that's the whole idea like you have your bus right so you can work either left or right and sort of do that so i think i'll, I'll do it somewhere down here or I'll maybe up here a bit more but uh just you know give us a bit of an work area so let's see what these are anyways wait you tell me no i have to have more oh yeah i do um so these guys the stone ones were do 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 Crap, that doesn't work. I should have just... Oh, craft time. Okay, that was easy. Uh, so one stone brick, five second craft time. Pretty simple. So you got your stone bricks and you bring them in and you do your thing. Okay, pretty simple then. So I, I definitely don't need as many as I'm making, but, you know, future, I guess. There we go. That'll be good. Oh, trains. We're definitely doing that. I like trains. Won't be quite ready for trains yet, but we will for the future. That'll be our outpost. So the stuff nearby, like we've already grabbed kind of, those will be the ones we'll be tapping into. But later on, we're definitely going to be tapping into the trains themselves. So that'll be very, very exciting. There you go. And then uh, we're going to have our material come to here. And then, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, we just made it almost. It's like, ah! There you go. And then we should get some pear over here. So we're going to do just like a season like this. Did I just do twice or did it do twice? I think it just did the sound of twice. Pretty sure I just did that kind of all over the place. <laughs> okay, railway finished. Awesome. Okay, what else do we got here? Oh, look at this. Automated rail system. So you got your signals or oh manual color. Oh, what is this? Oh, atomic train painter. Manual color module. Oh, trains equipped with this module will not be painted automatically. Oh, placed an equipment grid. Oh. Wait, trains have trains have an equipment grid? They don't normally do. I guess the mod might add it. Weird. I kind of just want to see that just happen for the fact that, you know, there. You need steel. <laughs> steel is going to have to be something we produce soon. I need to do what we're doing, but like separate, I guess, for steel. Steel is a bit of a pain. It's it's nice to have actual um, later on to actually have uh, electric furnaces for steel, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so we're bringing you in. I guess we could just shove this over here and just do it sideways and even... I don't know how many were. We got 11 of those. It's down to 9. Okay, that's good. Maybe I'll we'll do it down here just because it's going to break me mentally now. There you go. 
There we go. And then we should, you know, obviously be careful, a little cautious, and get our turrets up and running from time to time in these areas just to protect them. You know, a little spot here and there. And it's just literally just in case something bad happens, we uh, we can protect it. Okay. There we go. Oh, there they are. Signals themselves. Yeah, signals are pretty darn important for trains. It'd be kind of... I mean, you could do it without, but it'd be kind of useless, honestly. There's a lot of p people out there, I guess, don't know a lot about trains, so it could be very difficult for people who don't know what they're doing to use, you know, not have signals for them, so... I do highly recommend it anyways. There we go. And then, I guess... Oh, I, at that point, you don't have to do that. And then you just do regular belts. Oops, regular belts out of here. Oh, cr oh no, never mind. I thought I did something wrong there. Oh, I did something wrong here. Uh, the outputs on all these are wrong. <laughs> Whoopsies. And there we go. Oh. I wonder why. There we go. And there we have it, my friends. Green, beautiful circuits, which uh, we will use. So we'll do the I idea I've been doing lately. We'll just put like a yellow guy here and just slowly fill up a chest. So it doesn't really screw up the throughput too much, but obviously, you know, let's just fill it up. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's a big deal. Circuits are a pretty big deal, actually. So um, that gives us a, a brighter future. Um, what else do we have here? Cars! Oh, we can drive around. Cars are fun, early game. So in this pack, you get jetpacks later on, so, uh, and you can do, jetpacks are kind of like OP, honestly. <laughs> they, they let you fly around and uh, go over everything, so they are pretty OP. Okay. Go. And so we got that good. Okay, so uh, maybe steel wouldn't be a bad second option to work on now. I think I'll just put another turret in here. But, uh, yeah, I would say steel is probably a good uh, other option on this. Look at that turret. Let's just do one over here, then. There we go. These guys are going crazy. Mostly for the fact I'm stealing it, right? So. Oh, damn. Look at that. That's awesome. So, there we go. You got lots of iron that uh, gears there for whenever I need them, and then I can cap it off or whatever too. It's just it's beautiful that way for you know whatever I need later on, especially when I've been too lazy to try to make a mall yet. So it's not just lazy; it's just you know, there's so much to do, and it's just like oh I like this, oh I like this, you know. He's just you know having fun. Filter inserters, so this lets you pick up, uh, lets you filter it. It's kind of useless. I'll do it anyways, but it is really useless for me. I uh, Right now, I don't have any need or use for it. Later on, it's pretty useful, but these are actually almost pretty much keeping up. 6.3. Damn. Okay, so steel. We have to do something with steel, obviously. So steel it gets a little more annoying even, you know, you could say slightly challenging to a degree. Basically, you know, you bring in your stuff here, we're going to have to make it into steel. Well, this is iron, and iron turns into steel. So you got a couple of ways you can do this. You can either create a setup where you take all this and turn it into steel, or you can go ahead and, uh, you know, take it off the end of this and then turn that into steel. That's usually what I do, but I was thinking of just trying to play around with this a bit and maybe make, like, literally just an iron one to steel on the same, you know, kind of setup and just do it a bit different than I'm used to. Okay, what do we have here now? So, um, strong explosive, concrete, got upgrades. Oh, that's the blues. Look at that. Look at that. Let's do concrete then. Um, so, if you were to do this, right, like, I would say this would be the way to do it, maybe, then. Let's try this. Uh, I wouldn't want it that close. I'll do the skip still here. Let's go like this. There you go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll do eight for now, and then that's, that's 16, right? So, that's not too bad. We can upgrade these to steel furnaces pretty early on, too. So I've never done it this way, but I'm just thinking, okay, so you got your iron, and then it outputs into steel, right? So, 
Which side do I want steel? I want steel to come to this side, I think. So that's all I'm thinking of doing, right? So your iron comes up here. And then your steel uh, shoots onto this belt over here. And then your fuel is still, you know, all your fancy fuels and all that is still, you know, coming up on here. So you don't have to worry about that. I think that could work. And then, uh, yeah. Because I think it's like a one-to-one -one if you look at the math on these. Or pretty close. So not one-to-one, -one, but like... So steel takes five iron, and it takes 16 seconds to craft. Holy crap. But yeah, 3.2 seconds to craft. Uh, I didn't realize it took so long to actually uh, smelt it. Wow. Okay, yeah, that'll work then. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to take you from here here and then you here yes yeah, so this is a pretty cool little s simple and uh, pretty much the same really so so I'm using the uh, faster ones I really shouldn't be it's they're too damn slow anyways right at that speed so I don't know if it's true I think back in the day people did tests and stuff like go oh, inserter speeds and power usage and it's like, man, you're, you're not using that much what matters, but it kind of did matter at one point because, like, when you make massive, massive, massive bases, you know, like, you know, uh, that could be, you know, a few hundred megawatts of power depending on the size of your, your base. Probably not quite that insane, but mega bases are mega bases, you know, so. Um, okay, so that should work. And, uh, yeah, so then we want to bring up our iron here, I guess, somewhere first. We don't have to, but I think I'll do that. And uh, the good news is we can do uh, like the little diversion thing here. So it comes out second, right? So we can do uh, output priority, we'll do left. But then what we can do is over here, we can also do um, output priority left and then it goes right. So kind of like, you know, works its way, even though this is 50 50. So output priority is also left. And that way, the steel is like the very last thing it makes because you don't want to be choking off, you know. Obviously, I want steel, but you don't want to be choking on that either, so. Oh, there's your medium poles, which I think require steel, yeah. I'll resume. I guess when I was playing, I was going zigzag testing out things before on the last episode, so. I guess uh, it was when I was trying to fix something that displays. Okay, and then, uh, you know, this is actually too high, isn't it? Yeah, I'll have to fix this. So you're going to want to get it over here because I'm going to need to get that too, right? So I guess we can grab those two right now. So uh, output priority left and then, yeah. I don't think you have to worry about that, but I'm just thinking why not. Okay. So you, oh, no, sorry. You can go up here somewhere. There you go. There you go. And then you are going to be the actual, yeah, iron here. And then somewhere over here, we will take you, and uh, I'll even do it down here. I could always expand downwards or something later if I want. There you go. There you have it. And then let's just uh, power this all up here for the future. Oop, we're going to run out of power here, or power poles. Oh, just enough for to, to put them all on there, but not enough to actually run it now. Uh, there you go. So what do we have here? Ooh, meteor point defenses. These are pretty cool. So they require steel. A little expensive, but not so bad. And coal. That's pretty cheap. So the steel's not bad. I mean, yeah, it is a little expensive because that's, what, 40, uh, 40 uh, iron per shot it would take, but... In the long run, I don't think that's so bad. So I think that's pretty important because you, you don't want meteors over time smashing up your base, especially if you're offline. You know, this is a I'm not talking about a meteor. I just heard one fly over, but uh, it definitely would be nice. Okay, my friends, look at that. That's awesome. Okay, so we're making those uh, here. They are. Yeah. So is it really like what I was thinking before? I don't know. There's a certain limit to all the connections, I guess. Oh, that way, that, yeah, darn it. 
You can also shift right click or something like that, remove the connection, or you might, I wonder if you could do it without a, oh yeah, there you go, shift left click, and then what you can do is you can actually take wire itself, and you can manually do it, so you can just click from here to here, and then uh, here to here, for example, so you can manually set them, so uh, even if you run out of, if there, there is a max connection, which definitely seems that way, you could go and just redo them and manually do them and get less on there, Cause, because they're kind of zigzagged all over the place, they're kind of like doing too many multiple connections right now and they, they're making the steel oh yeah they're making the steel look at that and there we have it we have steel my friends which then we can take over here and it can join the main uh, system over here let's just get a ride on the belt there you go oops go slightly faster right and then if i've been smart and keeping everything off my main belt which i have right then I can go up even closer and bring this up the middle here. And, uh, you know, we're just keeping and expanding that uh, our system here, basically. And then we just ran out of uh, underground guys anyways. There you go. I don't know where we're taking these right now. I'm just kind of bringing them up here anyways for the future. How beautiful is that? That's cool. So there you go. Now we have our steel production up and running, which uh, is great. And then we should get some more turrets over there as well. I kind of was low on the uh, the wall side of things since we kind of had dumped all the walls. I kind of didn't save any for myself. Here's our little spot here. <laughs> One day when we get into that oil, we're going to be able to buy those out of there. Might as well. I don't really need these right now. Well, I might need it for something. I'm just thinking, yeah, I'll grab some anyways. Um, so this, oh yeah, this happens sometimes. I just go and control click on one of those. And then, uh, what else did we have? Wood, we can throw it in here. Okay. So, meteor defense up in, uh, well, research done. Oh, concrete walls. Yeah, stronger walls, but it requires concrete. Concrete's actually pretty bloody expensive. 12 concrete? Well, I mean, it's one concrete is 10. Like, you make 10 concrete at a time. So, I guess that's not insanely expensive. But concrete itself gets pretty expensive. So, I don't know if it's in this uh, this pack or it's just that naturally. But solar panels, we're not ready for solar panels yet. But solar panels for the future requires electronics, glass, copper, and steel. Uh, glass is something I guess we can work on next. Uh, we need to do sand, though wonder when we learn that one. There's some piece of technology you can learn for that. This thing here. Oh, there you go. So, it requires fluid handling. That's funny because you don't even need it for fluid right away. I'll get this. Is this better for sand? So, you can process sand through um, an assembler or the uh, pulverizer. If you do the assembler, you get, I guess, two from one stone. If you use the pulverize, you get three from one sand. So, obviously, the, the pulverizer is kind of the way to go, I would say. So, we'll set up a, a pulverization system here. But, at the same time, we're out, literally out of, uh, yeah, we need to work on that. So, I'm looking for anything red. It's a little harder to see because it's so bright. Anything red looking? No. Green, this shows up well, so maybe the red does too. Oh, yeah, there you go. Red, red, red. And red. That's our iron, by the way. Our iron, our old iron, is done. That is all she sang there for us. At least our new one's a bit more, so. Um, where are you? Yeah, 771k. Our copper, ooh, damn, copper's almost done. So copper, I mean, the closest one's here. I wouldn't do trains yet for that. So we're going to go and grab that copper, too. So copper and, uh, yeah, copper and stone. There's the stone there. I think there was another stone patch. There's stone there as well. Don't know if there's another stone patch here. I'm just kind of going all up and down here. Maybe easier to remove that. No, it looks like stone there and stone there. That's a nice, that's more stone there too. I might grab that stone then. And then just work on those two. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, so let's check out our uh, other ore here. I think we just checked all these. No more on here. The coal's running low on here, but that's fine. We got coal taken care of. Not tons of it, but uh, we have enough for now. And then uh, we can always get more coal later. Though we have to go out deeper for it. 1.7 there. I thought there was more than that. I thought there was weird... Oh yeah, there's this weird scattercrap patches here. They don't even make sense. I don't know what happened to them. 
yeah, so. Oddly enough, coal is not something we've seen a lot of. Interesting. Okay, what about iron? Like, if we get lower on iron, where are we going next? We got more copper. Got a little copper. Oh, that's 1.5 million. Lots of stone there. Okay, so. Oh, here's some more coal right here. Okay, so that's not too bad. And then more stones. The stone is really good. What about... Okay, so we got copper. So what about iron? Anything for iron here? I don't see any more iron. Oh, that's iron ore right there. Okay. That's a big chunk. That's pretty good. No, we're doing pretty good. Uh, coal would be my more concern at this point. It's the least amount we have around here. But, I mean, we got a patch there. We got that small patch around here that we just saw. There you go. So... You got these little ones we can clean up. So it's not terrible. And I'm sure we'll find more. You also have oil. You can always turn that into, uh, you know, fuel or whatever. We could also go into solar and accumulators too at that point and get away. So um, we have lots of options. I might try doing that. But we'll, we'll see. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. We're going to do the fluid handling for that. That is doing it fast. We're just going to check here to see if there's any reds here. I'm just... Reusing, recycling, you know, all that kind of stuff. Recycle, reduce, reuse, and close the loop. Was that the, the little catchy thing they sang to us and when we were in kids in elementary school or something stupid? <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Hey, I, I remember it in my head, you know. I, I, I came into the world, you know, when, you know, recycling was supposed to be a pretty big thing. They were teaching my generation. It was like it happened during my generation. Recycling really didn't happen much. And then, boom, all of a sudden, you know, recycling exists. And their idea was to educate us, to educate our kids, things like that. But it wasn't just that. The idea was we can educate our parents as well. So we'd be like, no, that's wrong. Like They literally would be like, oh, if you don't see somebody recycling, what do you do? And it's like, oh, you can recycle for them. And then the dangers of touching other people's garbage and all this other crap. And they kind of went all over the place. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that done. So, yeah, we're going to run out of those. So we're going to need to get more of these guys. We're going to need those electric engines, I guess, thankfully. Um, and then you're going to round out of the gears, which, hey, I can go and pick up those gears now, too. Basically, we have everything uh, done there. I just have to grab the gears up here. That's the beauty of this. That poor steel is so pathetic. I mean, hey, that's great. We have the steel and stuff, but I might need to increase it just a fraction more. Um, sorry here. So we got, uh, oh, yeah, we're looking at gears. Where's our gear? Where is our gear? Oh, there they are. Sometimes I just want to slide down here and hold the button, but it doesn't really have that option, so... Yeah, don't forget we have the faster assemblers. Don't care much about them right now, but for the future anyways. So we're using... Oh yeah, the electric circuits. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're going to run out of those first. We'll go down and get our ours over here. So if you create a mall, it's usually in like one little area. And the idea is then you have a bit of everything. And then you don't have to worry too much about running around in circles like I do. But that's all right. Wait, did I just... I was trying to get a full one, I guess I... Huh. Okay. I might as well use that other 18 there, huh? So, boom, 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 one, two, three. There we go. That should be enough. Power lines will be the issue once again. <laughs> but uh, we'll get those done too. Yeah, those guys are there. Yeah, I'll just hand make those. That's fine. I'm going to pick up some copper for after. And there's our pulverizer. Uh, oil processing, storage box. I guess we can do oil processing. So this just keeps unlocking crazy amount of stuff now. It's amazing how much uh, research you can get. And that's kind of why I went over done with the three uh, things for researching. Because then we can kind of like do what we're doing now and just go, you know, full blast on it. I thought it would be more fun. Okay, so there's our copper there. Stone was above? Or, you know, just, yeah, slightly. Let's start grabbing the power line from here. Now, we'll definitely have to be careful. I'll have to probably off camera clear this one up because uh, we're definitely going to get into the whole uh, the biter stuff here. Oh, crap. What kind of butt face puts all that in the way? Not, no way. Is this. 
here we go. Yeah, I was in here before, so it's like, eh, I'm pretty sure there's a spot. I think we went off angled there, but it's hard to see. Oh no! There you go. And then, uh, oh, we do have the radar there too, so that's not too bad. Okay, so uh, I think I might even clean this, or no, maybe that's just the regular stuff. I probably would have cleaned that then if I did, so. And there you go, so now you got more oil stuff unlocking here. Fuel refinery. Find more advanced fuel, so I guess that's that mod that plays with that. So it makes it's another refinery, but I guess it's fuel base. That's interesting, so they separated it out of the thing. I guess he wanted it separate. That's pretty cool. Uh, you got the sulfur processing, all that, uh, your concrete walls, flammables, which is, uh, well, what the hell is flammable? Develop more efficient... Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I see. It unlocks, I guess, these, but it doesn't actually unlock anything itself. It's just kind of funny that way, because usually your research will unlock, you know, also something evolved, but it doesn't here. Probably because the space one modifies it. I'm guessing usually it unlocks some stuff itself, like, yeah, I'm not sure. It could be the unlock for the uh, refinery, like the, uh, yeah, the fuels maybe, I'm not sure. Either way, it's kind of funny. Okay, so we'll start on one side, we'll start over here. There you go. I've been gapping these a bit. You don't have to. I still prefer to do this at the start. I, I don't mind the... Yeah, you know, it's just early game still, and it's just, to me, it's a little more expensive to go and, you know, have them, you know, side by side completely. I, and I even do the two gap here, but uh, that's how I like it. So, fuel refinery. Okay, there's your, oh, here's your better ones here. There you go. Okay, let me uh, do a cut here, and we'll be back soon. Okay, I just want to... I'm going to do military... Re oh, actually, I will do that last, because... Uh, well, we can do that quickly. There you go. <laughs> I was going to do that last. It's so fast, we could just do it in, like, a split second. You know, I'm showing the research we're going to do here, but uh, we'll do the strong box, fuel refining, sulfur... Yeah. So I'll do this one, this one, this one. I guess I'll do the walls. Might as well do the fluid wagon, um, plastics... And uh, I'll leave that for now. So I'll just work on those. Uh, and then we'll be back here a few. Okay, so there we go. We got our stone set up here. Got some turrets around here. Got the copper set up. And they're coming all the way over here. I don't even think I set priorities or anything, honestly, on them. Um, I was just... Did I do it? Yes, I did. I just extended my steel a bit more. Wasn't even using steel yet, obviously. But I thought, hey, we want to start extending that for the future anyways. This is actually trickling in here quite little. Uh, I didn't pick up any, did I? No, I extended the size, though. Well, that could be why. How many do you hold? Five, no. I think we uh, need to fix this up. Uh, these guys down here, potentially, then. You do have the room for it. This part's a little annoying, but what we could do is... I can do this, I guess, here. There you go. That actually works not too bad, to be fair. And then put this here. And then... Where are we? Here we go. And then... Uh, you here. And then we'll do priority on this guy here. So output priority... Or, sorry, input priority is the right one. Oh wait, we'll use these a bit more, and then um, we can put just another one of these. That alone should probably speed this up. There you go. That alone should help, I think. So if you look at your production, you click this guy here. There you go. One minute. Actually, no. Ten minutes? No, actually, it doesn't seem to have increased it. So it was doing pretty much its max that you can do for those. So I'll be better off just, uh... Basically, why are those not red? Oh, no, they're full. Never mind, they're yellow. At first I thought this thing was coming out of them, but these are annoying because they're, uh... It's because the way they're coming off the belt here, they're not taking off the right side. There's a way to fix that. I don't know the best way, though. 
not a big deal anyway, so I'll leave it for now. But that's why it's uh, having a hell of a time with that, to be honest. I'm wondering if I should... There was a mod back in the day, you'd even block the one side so it flows from the one side, but, you know, not the other. I'll leave it alone for now. But it is becoming a bit of a nuisance. And you're going on that side, huh? What happens if I just take it all onto that side? Maybe I'll do that instead, actually. Let's redo this. There you go. I know this is not the... There's probably a lot better and simpler and smarter fix, but I'm just thinking, like, okay, that, that'll work. I don't know if that needs to be connected to anything. There you go. There you go. That breaks it less, right? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I probably need another one of these guys, obviously, in here. I could probably even put one in here, maybe just squeeze it, possibly. If I get it in there in just the right spot. I don't know. Those guys are in the way, but it's these can go a lot bigger too, so there you go. There you go. So you can get that one in there, but you room, run out of room here. But if you take this, right, so you go... Wow, did we actually run out of conveyor belts? Holy crap. I guess we used quite a bit up the other thing. There you go, that'll work. And then here's the power for those guys. And then you can go ahead and at least power two of these. I don't know if we'll get a... Oh yeah, I can actually get this like one right here. There you go. Oh, apparently I powered all that, huh? Oh, it still won't fit. We do have those new power poles too here, right? Uh, sorry, not that one. These guys here. There we go. This is the larger area there. There you go. <laughs> Just my silly way of doing it. Uh, and then these guys, unfortunately... Oh, here's the problem here, though. Um, I thought I moved this in. No, I guess I didn't. I guess I moved it enough for that, but not enough for those guys. There you go. Is that going... Oh, crap. I don't want that. Because I want it to go on the other side, right? There you go. We're going to try this out. I'm going to just tear this all down anyways, obviously, but this is just me being silly at this point, right? I'm just like, why not? There you go. <laughs> there we have it. Okay. So now, obviously, we'll be uh, we'll do, be doing a bit more now, so... There's that increase, and it should settle here in a second a bit more, but... It's always fun to play around with stuff like that. Oh yeah, so it's back up to where it was, I guess, yeah. Okay, so we're doing like almost 180, basically, I guess. Yeah, 180 versus 120, so that makes sense. You get 60 in each of those, basically, output, so I love it. Okay, uh, the last thing that we wanted to do, it wasn't a big deal, but might as well do it, honestly, is, uh, oh, look at these guys, um, is glass. So uh, what you do with the glass is you take this uh, stuff and you literally do like I think the exact same thing Oh, and it was the sand too. We had too, right? So um, We didn't actually even get that made did we No. You know what? We'll leave that for next time then we'll work on some of that as well uh, And we'll get the glass and sand we haven't needed it anyway, so it's not a big deal So what do we have in here? You got the core miner. We don't really need that yet anyways um, So you got your plastics so basically, you got explosives here. You got your plas uh, your batteries here, and then plastics. For some reason, I thought I already did that, but I got a little busy. I had a phone call, so. And then you got these guys. So I guess I'll work on uh, these ones. I'll just you know, put around with these and get those done. We did unlock this here. What does this require? These guys require um, you know, which we want to work in the future. They require piercing rounds, so that's uh, steel uh, grenades, which probably require more steel. And then stone walls, so piercing rounds and grenades. So the piercing rounds require regular firearms, so that's just uh, iron, and then steel, and then copper. So not bad, a little expensive. And then this is just iron and coal, so we're going to actually have to bring coal eventually, I guess, up top to use that and utilize that a bit. So that'll cost us a bit. And you got the grappling hook. I don't even think you can get this anytime. Yeah, you need explosives, so you actually need to get into uh, oil production for the grappling hook. But, um, 
There you go. Look how fast that trains. I like when they do that. Oh, here we go. We got the, uh, I guess we, because we just unlocked the explosives. We also now have the cliff, uh, ex cliff explosives. Yeah. So basically it takes one barrel, which I think is like iron or steel. Um, and then 10 explosives, a bit expensive on that, a grenade. And basically you get cliff explosives and cliff explosives will actually remove uh, cliffs themselves, basically letting us clean up our base a bit more and being able to organize and just get a little bit more out of life out of that. So that'll be cool. So yeah, I'll finish up these researches anyways. And then, uh, oh, look at this. You get the uh, red circuits coming up. Leave that for the next episode. And then when we come back, we'll probably work on probably the military uh, stuff. We'll see. Uh, and then eventually we're going to get into the oil products and stuff like that as well. So we got lots to do, but uh, I think we did pretty good today. Anyways, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.